the pulley saver can be used many different ways. A primary configuration is to pass the pulley saver around an appropriate anchor point, pass the pinto pulley through the soft eye and up to the prusik. Install your climbing line through the pinto pulley and attach the retrieval shackle to the leg of line above your friction hitch. To uninstall, attach a retrieval ball to the eye splice of your climbing line. This passes through the pulley and catches on the retrieval snap. The pulley saver can be choked around a limb by passing the pinto pulley and the prusik through the soft eye. Ensure that the retrieval snap hangs below the pinto pulley. Install your climbing line and attach the retrieval snap. When uninstalling, the prusik and pulley easily pass through the soft eye. To use around a tree stem in choker configuration, pass the pinto and prusik through the soft eye and then run the prusik up to the desired position. Retrieval is accomplished either using the retrieval snap or simply pull your climbing line from the pulley and use the tail of the pulley saver. The constriction mode allows the climber to position slightly closer to the stem. Uninstall using the retrieval snap or use the tail of the pulley saver. It is always good practice to place a stopper knot below the prusik whenever possible. A daisy chain will act as a stopper knot, as well as tidying up a long tail, and also helps facilitate retrieval with the retrieval snap. When wrapping the pulley saver on a tree stem, ensure that the leg closest the soft eye runs over top the leg closest the prusik. Retrieve as normal. Here's an example of using the pulley saver in a choked configuration on a tree stem. Once we establish our new working position, we can retrieve the assembly by using the tail of the pulley saver. the equalizing configuration, my favorite. An anchor ring equipped with a semi-rigid eye is installed onto the pulley saver. The pulley saver then is passed around two appropriate anchor points with the equalizing anchor ring in the center. Pass the pinto through the semi-rigid eye and the soft eye stopping at the prusik. Install your climbing line through the pinto and attach the retrieval snap. When installed properly, the equalizer may allow climbing forces to be distributed among anchor points. It is important to be aware of the forces involved when using an equalizing system such as this. Also, the angle created by the two legs of line entering and exiting the anchor ring should not exceed 120 degrees. Given the rated becket of the pinto pulley, hauling systems may be created from the pulley saver. Here a DMM revolver is installed in the becket of the pinto and a 3 to 1 hauling system is created. This is also retrievable. Simply pull the tail of your climbing line all the way through the revolver and uninstall as normal. Other hardware or software may also be installed in the becket. Here another pinto pulley is installed to increase the efficiency of the hauling system. Believe it or not, this setup is also retrievable. It just takes a little more persuasion. To prevent damage to the pulley saver, it should always be retrieved and lowered in a controlled manner. 
Here, prior to beginning work in the canopy, the climber has installed a throw line over a small branch above the pulley saver and clipped it via accessory carabiner to the soft eye. Now the climber can work as normal, leaving the throw line until later. When ready to retrieve the pulley saver, install the retrieval ball to the eye splice of your climbing line and retrieve as normal, keeping a hand on the throw line to control the rate of descent. If your tie-in point happens to be nearby your access line, the retrieval snap of the pulley saver may be clipped to the access line with an inline knot. When securely on the ground, simply pull your climbing line from the pinto pulley and then use the access line to retrieve and control the pulley saver. If you do not wish to attach the pulley saver directly to your access line, once you are on the ground, connect a carabiner to your access line and clip this carabiner around the leg of climbing line above your friction hitch. Haul it into position and retrieve the pulley saver as normal. The carabiner will catch and control the pulley saver.